this historic country estate in Fermanagh is to be transformed into a major tourism and leisure attraction after the council agreed to lease it to a developer. A proposal to develop an historic estate in County Fermanagh for tourism and leisure has been approved by councillors. Neacorn in Irvinstown will be leased to a private developer, but a castle, which is at risk of falling down, will remain the responsibility of ratepayers. Here's our South West reporter, Julian Fowler. The 230-acre Nikarn Estate in Irvinstown is owned by Fermanagh and Oma District Council. It includes a castle, an indoor equestrian arena, stables and cross-country course. While many people enjoy the grounds, the castle is in ruins and the equestrian centre has been unused for years. There's all these facilities, the walled garden, the indoor arena, stables, just sitting here doing nothing, really disintegrating which is so sad when it's here on our doorstep. She says all that will be lost under plans by a developer to turn this into a holiday retreat with accommodation, outdoor activities and trails. The maintenance of the castle will remain the responsibility of the council. The council says it's investigating how much money is required and it has a long-term ambition to redevelop the castle. But campaigners say that could end up costing ratepayers millions of pounds. They are giving it on the 99-year lease to the developer, but they will not say how much the liability is coming onto the ratepayers that they are going to put the bill on the ratepayers for the maintaining the stabilisation of this castle. It's a popular spot with dog walkers, but the council says free public access will continue except during events. It believes the plans will transform Nikan through substantial private investment, creating jobs and attracting visitors to this beautiful but underutilised estate. Julian Fowler, BBC Newsline, Irvinstown.